Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here I am, it's been a while. And here is Miss Gigi, the Geller girl mascot. Yep, that's who she is. Well, I wanna get started, but I also wanna give a little time for those of you who might be just coming on board. So I wanna just tell you what's going on here today because I'm very excited. I have one of the most iconic fashion illustrators in my home right now. So most of you probably already know who Holly Nichols is, but she is sitting alongside me and I would like to introduce her because if you haven't checked out her page, but most of you have, I'm sure, you will be blown away when you see what she does. And I get the privilege because I'm celebrating 25 years of having her do an illustration, am I right? Yes. Here is our Holly Nichols of me with Gigi. I don't know how long she'll be lasting this <laughs> spot. But here is the beautiful Holly Nichols. Thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you for having me, Lauren. Congrats on 25 years. Aw, thank you. I must tell you, last night I came home, I was out with friends, and I came home to the most gorgeous flowers right back here from Holly. So not only is she talented, but she's a class act. So I'm so glad you're here today. Oh, thank and you. So typically, I just, as a side note, when you're sketching and doing something like this, how long could it take you? If you're just doing something sort of casual like we're going to do today. Anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, typically. It depends on how wow. much glitz and glam is involved. That's and right. If you've seen my work before, you know that I like all those sparkles. Oh, and <laughs> you know, I mean, I am a true Geller gal. I love anything with sparkles. So we're going to, I'd like to just know about your inspiration and sort of the behind it all. And, you know, your design process. How do you go about it? Well, I started off by wanting to depict my friends in their garments that made them feel empowered and beautiful. Um, so I started off by drawing just my friends and family. I, and from there, kind of took off. And what I do today is I typically sketch with a pencil, and then we move on to markers, which you'll, you'll see us do today. And um, then I add all those finishing details, which sometimes include makeup on paper. So yeah. I like to play with different oh, mediums. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so... With us, you did a wonderful collaboration, and our, the collaboration we're going to be showing and talking about today is that you get the cult classic kit. Um, I mean, listen, in my opinion, that's the thing to do. Um, you could get the bag alone, for, but you get the cult classic kit. You get the bag that you <laughs> illustrated with three different Geller gals, all not 15 years old, 40 plus, which I'm very proud of, very proud of. Um, and you get the bag for free when you purchase the Cult Classic Kit. And I'll talk a little bit about, or the Daily Routine, by the way. There's two different collections. You can get the Cult Classics or the Daily Routine. And you'll get this amazing bag for free that Holly sketched. I'll never forget when they showed this to me. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> There's something very delightful about seeing something you love, like your makeup, or your puppy, or your kitty, whatever, your fur baby, your loved ones, being sketched. It's, it's you know, when I looked at this and I saw all the makeup on my bag and the Geller gals, I got so excited. So I will, um, um, here's what I need everybody to know. The code is HOLLY. So when you're checking out on laurageller.com, put in H-O-L-L-Y and you'll get 15% off for our anniversary, our 25th anniversary, for the Cult Classics and the Daily Routine Kit, automatically you'll get 15 off. So I wanted to let you know that the code is HOLLY when you check out. Um, but I would love to, you know, have you start sketching, if you can, um, Gigi, because I'm not sure how long she's gonna last time. She's doing pretty good. We've Already. got a bit of a head start oh, with that did? in mind. Did you? <laughs> we know how puppies can be, oh. so we'll get started on uh, Miss Gigi. Oh, that's yeah. good. So I'm so excited. excited. So, yes, yeah, so for those of you just tuning in now, our beautiful Holly Nichols, who is a famed fashion illustrator, is sketching myself holding our Gigi, my little Aussie doodle, um, who... Um, is my life these days. She just keeps me company and I talk to her about everything. And um, 
I just am amazed seeing you do this because it's funny, as a makeup artist, one might think that I can draw, but I was tested many years ago. I went on a hike. Um, <laughs> it was called um, Hike and Paint, and I thought, I'll have everybody over the barrel here. And we were told, like, paint a scene, and I could not paint to save my life, Holly. Well, we were just talking about how makeup has never been my strong suit, so Is we're a great right? pair today. <laughs> I think we might have color in common. Like, yes. I think that's something that we both could admit that, you know, we understand the theory of color. Oh, absolutely. That's very important. But just because I do makeup doesn't mean I can paint, and just because Holly illustrates doesn't mean she can do makeup, although I did compliment her on her beautiful eye makeup. <laughs> I get by. <laughs> yes. No, you, well, we all know what we can do on ourselves. That's true. That's very true. So this is very cool. So you did a little bit of an outer sketch to get started yes. of me. And, and I, you know, it's funny, I haven't had anybody do a sketch of me since I'm a little girl. And I know, Holly, you're from Boston. My father, when I was very young, used to take us to Cape Cod. Oh, beautiful. And if you remember back in the day, they did, you know, illustrations and sketches, not like Holly does. And I had all these cutouts of like a profile of me or a sketch of me, but all in, in Cape Cod, Provincetown, yeah. wherever he took us, um, always in the summer, somebody would do a little sketch of me. It's bringing me back. It's really bringing oh, back a so special great. memory for me. Well, it's so nice to take home and have, and yeah, this it's, will be a great um, remembrance of your 25th anniversary. So yeah. I'm so honored to be a part of it. Well, I have to say the bed was already an incredible memory. For those of you, um, who haven't seen this bag, I'll show it to you after a few seconds because I want to tell you something. I was with friends yesterday and they were oogling over this bag. And I said, you know, it'll wait till you see what's in it because that's even more special too. Um, so the combination of your illustration and the cult classics or the daily routine. Um, hello. Oh, how beautiful. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. So yeah, let me just show you that bag again. So if you're just coming on with us now, I'm here with Holly Nichols, who is a fashion illustrator. And my gosh, follow her because I'm sure I have a lot of your fans following us today <laughs> too. Hi, I'm Laura Geller. Um, I'm celebrating my 25th anniversary of my brand, although I've been doing makeup for well longer than that. Um, so when you Holly, I just your process in sketching. Like, is there anything you can explain how the process is starts and what you're doing? It's actually similar to makeup application in that what you've seen me do already is apply the foundation. We'll compare it to that. So applying the foundation using the skin tone, and then what I'm doing now is similar to what would be like a liquid liner eyeshadow. Oh. So I'm using these black outliner pens to create that beautiful lash line you have going on. I want I want to see a picture of your case too. Oh yeah. Traveler. I've seen it on your site. <laughs> the famous case. <laughs> that case is I mean, I don't care if you even do makeup or illustration. If you're anybody who loves color and looks at your case, you melt. It is like that new box of crayons, right? Absolutely. It's... Yeah, it's a childhood dream that I continued on to adulthood. <laughs> so it was a childhood dream for you? I, I have always loved drawing gowns and dresses. Since um, you were young, you did Since it? I was young. If you remember, like, the fashion plates, yes. kind of similar to that. Oh, can um, you explain to anybody who doesn't know what the fashion plate was? Yeah, there were these little templates, and you could just draw over them and create your own fashion yes, designs. And I've yes. been infatuated with that process since. Um, and I just started drawing my friends in what their, at the time, um, ideal bridal gowns would be. And it kind of took off from there. And now my friends are all getting married, so they're kind of like living out that dream and I get to live it on paper. <laughs> so, can I ask you a question? Did you go to school for this? I did. I studied, um, fine arts. So, at, but, 
they don't, did they teach that? They didn't at my school. Um, so the subject focus on fashion illustration was more of a self-exploration. Okay, okay. Um, and it's taken me about 12 years to kind of find my groove, but I feel like I'm 31 now and I feel like I'm there. Wow. I'm really comfortable in the process. I'm sure you can relate when you oh, kind of oh, find a place in your life where you're like, this is it. And then it only gets better from there. So I'm excited to see what's So do come. people commission you, like do they commission you for like, like their wedding. So you'll draw an illustration of them in their gown and like that's a portrait that they may hang up or? I started off doing that. Um, and I'm at a point now where I'm working with uh, mostly brands like yourself. Um, so I get to kind of honor my time in a way that um, serves the client best. So yeah, it's a dream. I'm, so, I'm very grateful at the end of the day. Well, listen, I think anybody would agree that if you're doing something you love, even if you're doing it as a hobby and not making a living at it. I mean, if you like fashion illustration, you know what? No one says you have to work at it. You can be Absolutely. doing this as a hobby. Exactly. Yeah. You we know? don't need to monetize everything. Thank but you. I'm That's lucky that what I do is do. what I love and vice versa. <laughs> well, I've always felt the same way. And I've always told everybody, always go after something you're passionate about because chances are you'll do very well at at it for a long time because you're more patient with the pitfalls, the highs and lows exactly. when you're doing something you love. I Absolutely. think everybody would agree with that. Would you agree with that? <laughs> so do we have any comments coming through that I might be able to respond to if anybody has any particular questions? I know we weren't planning on doing that, but I always like to like know because this is live. So although we'll... <laughs> Post it on Holly's site and the Laura Geller Beauty site, and I'll even put it on mine, um, the Laura J. Geller Instagram page. That's my personal one. Um, but so after, I'll be able to see, and we will answer questions. Um, if not during the live, we'll make sure that we answer everybody's questions afterward as well. Um, so let me ask you, because you didn't know, that you can ask us questions today. So I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. I have a question in Ooh. the meantime. Okay. <laughs> Did you see this for yourself when you started out 25 years ago? I'll tell you, that's a good question. Like I asked you too. I think it was a childhood dream. Mm -hmm. It was a childhood dream of mine. I was 12 years old. I'll never forget it. That I knew that makeup was transformative. And I didn't know how I could make a living, obviously at 12, that's the last thing that I was thinking mm -hmm. about. But I knew it was something that really moved me and I, years went by and I was actually on my way to college um, for something that I was probably not interested in at the time. And a friend, a very dear friend named Jane, asked me why I was going off to college. She said, I know you love makeup. I said, but how do you make a living at makeup? I, I really had no mentorship. And um, lucky for me, I did study theater and film and TV makeup. Um, and I went into it early on, right out of high school. I did not go to college. I went to beauty school, got licensed, and did so many different facets of the industry until I found what I loved, which was working on women like myself, Mm -hmm. and teaching people how to do their makeup. And I think the two collections we put together today, the Daily Routine and the Cold Classics, really honestly are the way to get started if you've not started with me because it contains our hero products. And so I can show you exactly in a minute. Um, so, like, do you have any advice? Like, if you're stuck in your career, do you have any advice I I'd think what, what helped for me was not being afraid of asking questions mm -hmm. because so many people want you to do well and many people that who I called upon were more than willing to help me um, just oh, even yeah. with, with questions or just business advice, um, creative advice. So I think just not being afraid to ask those questions. I would say that's um, important. Know the right time when to say yes, know the right time when to say no. Um, what about studying? Do you have to worry about not worry, I should say, but about studying your competition and, and knowing how to set yourself apart? Uh, that's a great question, too. I'm at the point now where I don't have time to worry about Anything what else, else is out there. Um, right. And I'm so focused on just the enjoyment of the process um, that that's what kind of drives me today. 
I, I don't know if you've done something similar. Yeah. No, I did. Uh, are you kidding? I absolutely <laughs> did. And I also found that there's always a learning from anybody else who's doing what I'm doing or similar things. There's always something you can oh, learn. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And I, I'll say one thing. There's room for everybody. Oh, absolutely. I have never felt that somebody was competition. I've always felt like, you know what? If you're doing well, that means I could do well. If I'm doing well and you're not quite where you want to be, it means that you can get there too. So I think that's a, that's a really important um, takeaway for everybody. But I love hearing how busy you were, Holly. I mean, it's <laughs> like, how do you know how to like even choose a marker brand? Like, how would you know... <laughs> You know, do you just keep exploring and trying different things? The exploration's important, but I've been using these ones since I was a freshman in college, and that was a long time ago. Um, so I'm lucky that I latched on to a really good um, fit for me early, but um, exploration is important. And like I said, I like to experiment with non-traditional media for art. Like I have put eyeshadow on paper before. Yes. Um, you'll see me use a lot of gold and metallics. Um, it's just keeping it fresh and new for me where I'm doing it every day. I don't want to ever be sick of it and I don't feel that coming, so I'm lucky. <laughs> Are there new things that keep coming out in the world of like what you use to illustrate that get you excited? Like, you know, for me, there's always new product development and makeup, but is there new things that come out for you that you go, oh my gosh, that's going to make my routine easier or quicker. Oh, absolutely. Um, I am a frequenter of art supply stores. Right. Oh, I <laughs> so bet you like are. just like down those aisles and seeing what finds me. Yes. <laughs> get me into trouble sometimes. But... Yeah. Oh, I would think that you can lose your way in an art supply store oh, very easily. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. More appealing than shoe shopping to me. Yeah. <laughs> Which we like, too, of yeah. course. And I wouldn't be surprised. I just thought of something like... I bet you there are brands like art supply brands that have reached out to you and want you to use their products. Oh right? yeah, all the time. And um I'm always I'm always willing to try something new. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, why not? Um are there any so um another thing of uh, somebody is asking a question. Fan is going to a wedding and needs some inspiration. Um so are there any fun makeup trends this year? Well, one thing I'm going to say, and I think you do that in, in your illustration, I think you should capture yourself. Um, like you're capturing me now, which is blowing my mind, <laughs> just so you know. But for the gal who asked the question, I think it's always important that you look like yourself and maybe just enhanced. Um, the little things you can do that... I wouldn't say are on trend, but make the difference from a day look to a special occasion look, like going to a wedding. I know these are the stops I pull out. I will um, enhance my lashes. I will enhance, like you're doing there, like, you know, lipstick. I don't typically wear a red lipstick, but for a special occasion, like you and I today, um, I will put a stronger, bolder lipstick on. Um, so, and maybe I'll wing out my eye with the liner. Um, those are, I wouldn't say on trend, but they are always the things as a makeup artist that I'll be doing if I'm doing your makeup as an example. I'll say, you know what? It's time to like step it up just another notch. Let's pull out the liner. Let's add some lashes. Let's add a bold lipstick if you dare to. Um, they're simple things and they make a huge difference. They really do. So thank you for that question. We love those. And that's what struck me too with um, using this kit was how approachable it was to someone like me who I typically oh. just throw on moisturizer, SPF, and a, and a little bit of mascara. Oh, lucky so you that so you can look to... that good with just those few <laughs> I things. I don't know about looking good, but it's more of a, you know, a time thing and I'm just going to my studio every day. So um, it, it was just so easy to jump into, but still add some blush that I don't normally do. Yes, and I yeah. Like, oh, I can. I need. I need to go out to dinner tonight. Well, Someone take me out. <laughs> I'm excited about what you're gonna see, Holly. Yeah. I'm. I'm putting her to the test. Um, but it's so simple. I, I always like to say our makeup needs no instructions, Holly. So we are gonna ask Holly to put on um, some of the makeup from the two different collections that we're offering, so that you'll get to see how quick and easy it is. And honestly, with the 15% discount, code is Holly, H-O-L-L-Y, on laurageller.com. Um, what you're actually trying is our Baked Out of Italy products, our famed iconic spackle under makeup primer, 
which um, is really a cult favorite. Um, Gigi, you're being, she's a good girl, she's right? She's a great model I mean, right now. So I know you guys are probably watching and enthralled like I am at watching what Holly's doing, but we love a good question. So challenge us over here, <laughs> you know? I mean, come on, come all. Um, so whatever your question may be, we are here to answer. Oh, uh-oh. I was gonna drink my water and I think Gigi was too. Wow, that is, there's the bling. There's the bling. Here comes the bling. All the shine. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in love with that. Oh my God, I love this so much. I mean, the gold earrings and Gigi in my arms, like could I ask, and my bracelets. Oh my gosh. Hello, Gigi. Gigi. <laughs> Gigi's like, what is happening here? Oh my gosh. Don't you want to know like what they're thinking right now? That's what I want to know. Gigi. Gigi, what are you thinking? What's in your mind? Can you speak to us and tell us? Sure. You want to tell us what's, what you're thinking? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is so beautiful, Holly, I have to say. Um, do you have any motivating words like really anybody who wants to go? I, I have a very dear friend whose daughter is looking to go into fashion illustration. Like, what could, like I wouldn't know what to say to her, Holly. I think, I mean, it sounds so cliche, but just practicing every day, um, staying curious, um, whether that be like I was talking about trying different mediums, different tools, making art in different places. If you have the um, accessibility to travel around, whether it's just a walk around the corner, or I love coming to New York here. I get so much inspiration in New York. Oh, I can um, imagine. So staying curious, um, just evolving with your art, and yeah. I think the biggest thing for a lot of artists, too, is the obsession over finding your style. And Interesting. I don't know if that ever applies to the makeup world as well, but um, it comes to you over time. It's not something that you have to hyper-focus on. So um, finding your style, like what is your style of illustration? Yeah, what's your niche? Um, even if people feel like sometimes that their art is going in a hundred different directions, so what I did was lay it all out with, at the time, my college, um, the, the fellow majors on my art college, and we all kind of observed each other's work and pointed out um, commonalities in the work. And everyone said to me, your work is very illustrative. And I was doing landscape painting at the oh, time. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I've been all over the place. So it will come to you just through exploration and time. Um, we all get there. Yeah, I, you know, to, you asked if it was similar in makeup, and I think it is, you know, I think that's a good point. When I started in makeup, there were no makeup courses other than theater and film at typically schools that were, it was a mandatory, mandatory course for theater um, students oh, wow. and film students, theater makeup. And that was like the only kind of course, so I took it not because I wanted to go into makeup for theater or film, but because I heard it was makeup. <laughs> and I was learning how to put bald caps on and use blood caps or age of face. And it wasn't the medium that I was interested in, but as a makeup artist, like I knew that I needed to learn all the different mediums and find my groove. And so there was learning theater f and film makeup. Then there was learning television makeup. Then there was learning makeup for magazines, you know, uh, for print, that, you know, how do you do makeup for print? Then there was learning makeup for runway. And I did a little bit of everything and worked in every medium, mm -hmm. but the biggest satisfaction I got was when I could see a smile come on someone's face. That's fantastic. And for me, it was always, and sometimes it was a celebrity who I sort of, made them feel comfortable on a day that might have been challenging for them. It was less about even the makeup I did, but more about how I made them feel. And look at all the women you've made feel good for this Thank all this you. time. Thank you. I must that's say incredible. that's when I knew where I was going to head. I knew I was going to work with real women that wanted to learn how to put their makeup on and could feel empowered after they did it themselves, not just me doing it. That was important. So yeah, I think finding your groove in whatever medium you're doing, and again, not even as a career. It could be a hobby. Yeah. I, I mean, we all we all have something that interests us. 
um, my hairstylist today was like, did you know that I was also a baker? I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> He's like telling me how he cooks and how he bakes. And he actually did baking at one point, you know? So there's so much you can parlay that you're good at. And I always like to empower women to find what that is. And Holly, you are a genius, <laughs> an absolute genius. Um, so what was the... What was the inspiration when you thought, and we, when we came to you and said, okay, we want to design, have you design our 25th anniversary bag. What was the inspiration for you? Well, obviously very much your line in the women that you cater to and depicting um, a, a array of women and as yes. they are and how they come right. um, has always been important to me. So I was happy that we had that commonality. Did you do a lot of different things before you landed here for us? or were there Yeah, there were a few iterations of it. There and were. They all come together in the end. It's, so, it's still rewarding for me to see it on a physical product. Yeah, I mean, um, like there was something about this bag. By the way, it feels so good. It's soft. And I know it sounds silly, but these are the kind of things we pull out in front of our friends when we're going out. And when I saw your illustration, and by the way, I saw one of your first iterations, and Sarah had showed it to me, our marketing exec, and I said, Sarah, I love it. Can we maybe tweak the look of what the models are, are the Geller gals are wearing? And, you know, we collaborated a little bit together and I mm -hmm. think we came back and you did another iteration and it came out absolutely spectacular. Oh, I think you. everybody I smiles it. when they see <laughs> this. But you did that in under how many minutes? I would say that's under 20, under 15 minutes maybe? Yeah, so this was a quick little sketch. Typically, if you watch my videos, you see me oh. doing like these time-lapse drawings and they can be upwards of three hours. So with time in mind today, I know we want to talk about the makeup a little bit more, do a little application. Um, so this was a quick one today, but I loved drawing. Holly, it's, this is quick. <laughs> you, for those of you who already follow Holly and are joining us today, thank you. But for those of you who are new mm -hmm. with us today, because um, you're my Geller gals and you're first learning about Holly Nichols, I am telling you when you go to her site, you're going to be blown away. But if this is just a quick sketch, in under 20 minutes, I can't imagine what you do in three hours. <laughs> I honestly can't. Um, so I, I will take a look at this sketch, if you don't mind. Of course. Now, oh my goodness. That is, I just, um, how did you even like, you captured my necklace and Gigi so perfectly and <laughs> how I was holding her and my part and my hair, like, you are really, really <laughs> talented, Thank honey. You I don't so need much. to tell you that. Well, likewise. But, oh my gosh. And you and Gigi were both great models. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know this is being framed and hung in my home. Oh, well, that would be an honor for oh, me. <laughs> I wonder if my son Daniel wouldn't mind having this hung. In. Daniel, what do you think? Can I put it up like above your bed? No, no, better, better across from your bed. So like you look at it every night and you go, there's my mom, there's Gigi. What do you think, Daniel? Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's going to kill me. It's I will find a beautiful home oh, for you. this somewhere. But I'm going to test you. Now, you have some of the makeup right here in front of you. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to do the Cult Classic Kit first. And I'm going to work along with you, too, so that I can give you a little makeup instruction. Fantastic. Um, there's mirrors in the compacts. If you need a bigger mirror, just let us know. But I always like to say, you know, these compacts are great because I've had to cheat and put this on. You got it. Go. Um, <laughs> so it starts always. This is the Cult Classics um, collection that we're talking about right now. And this is Spackle Hydrate. Now, for those of you who don't know what Spackle is, would you ever paint without first smoothing out or working on a smooth canvas? You have to have a smooth canvas. Yes, we call it gesso. Oh, so. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did know that. There is a host on QVC who taught me that. Her name is Jean. Another Jean. <laughs> she taught me about that because she's a painter too. Um, so you put this on your skin. It's really simple. It comes in a pump. It's all the good for you ingredients. And you basically just press it into your skin. And it adds no mineral oil. It just gives your skin this beautiful clean canvas. 
it also, the real reason for Spackle, and, and it sort of came about for me, was I did so much theater makeup and film makeup, and we were taught never to put um, anything emollient under mm -hmm. your makeup because it breaks down the makeup, and the talent needed to have their makeup last for hours under hot lights yeah, or, in a, or in a big you know house, we called it. Like, their makeup needed to be matte and dry. Mm -hmm. And one day I had that aha moment when I was working on a very famous um, news anchor woman, and she said, get out the spackle. <laughs> so I did, I said, I'm gonna come up with something that doesn't make you feel dry, makes your makeup last, smooths your canvas out. Oh, the texture's amazing. Yeah, it's so light, there's no fragrance in it. Um, it, it doesn't penetrate, it hovers on the skin, which is what I wanted, so that it really prepares your canvas for doing the next thing, which is foundation. And that's only if you are wearing foundation every day, but you can do just concealer if you want to on top of this, and your concealer will look better and last longer. So I'm gonna hand you the next step. This is our Kabuki brush. Which I love. Oh, I've thank you. this at home, it's so smooth. Thank you, it's thank fantastic. you. And the Kabuki brush puts on, this is our Italian baked foundation. Now I'm gonna show you something, Holly. You're not somebody who wears a lot of makeup, and you don't want fuss. I mean, and by the way, who wants to fuss anymore? <laughs> Literally, this is me in the morning. I go like this with the Kabuki brush. I have no patience or time. I always say the lazy girl guide to make up. And that's it. Like, so that was literally like two that's seconds, it. if anything. Like two, yeah, <laughs> see, I can do things under 20 minutes too, like yeah. you did. But if you wanted to get like, let's say you there's something bothering you or you have a new visitor that's popping up, you can stipple, you know, it's stipple. Uh -huh. So you can, Dip your brush into the baked formula and press. And you can actually get even more coverage by making the hairs a little denser. And That's that why we love it. gives you a bit more control over the application too. That's yeah. fantastic. So if you keep it open like Holly's keeping it open, you'll get a very natural finish. And what you're getting is color corrective foundation, really. Mm -hmm. Because we're not made up of one color in our skin. We have highs and lows. There's pinks. There's yellows. I think it's hard for any of us to go, yes, I'm cool complected, yes, I'm warm complected. I think we're a combination of everything most of the time. Mm -hmm. And so you're done, and yeah, then you can tighten those hairs, and you can add a little under the eye, because this is something that starts its life, believe it or not, as a cream. This is made in Italy by artisans. Like, I go to that factory, and I'm astounded at what they do. Um, now they don't let people go into the, the barrels of the factory anymore. But when I started going there years ago when I discovered this baking process, um, I was blown away at the artisan way things are made and the craftsmanship that it's made. And only women were allowed to work. Not that that's something that's important, but only women were allowed to work in this factory and only certain amount of these could be done in a day. It takes wow. 24 hours to make one of these. Look how beautiful, even just that swirl. It's gorgeous, it's right? Beautiful. Okay, so now's your blush. Okay. So this is the order of things too. So your primer, your foundation. Here is a blush we call Tropic Hues, all part of this Cult Classics collection. And there's your blush brush, it's an angle. I'll do mine so I can show you. It's, it's really very simple. So you're dipping in, dip, dip, dip. I like to tap the excess tap. off. Mm -hmm. I know people do, but to me, like, what's gonna fly out of your mouth? Like, I just don't <laughs> think that's really sanitary. I always like to say, start at the top of your ear, because if you put too much on your brush, your mistake is back here instead of right here. So I always say, go along your cheekbone. If you don't know where your cheekbone is, or you don't see your cheekbone so strong anymore, if you suck it and make a fish face, you've got amazing cheekbones, so you don't have to do that. You go like, and that's where it goes. And I always like to bring a little into my temple. So I say like an inverted V is the way blush goes on. I mean, some people have different theories. You know, I've heard people say, make a three, make a C. I hear people say, use it on your nose. To me, blush is not only to enhance color in your skin, but it's also to enhance the shape of your face. So like this. I love that, that's a great tip. Yeah, I think, you know, when you're putting blush on, you should be thinking, how do I make my cheekbones look higher? Why not? I mean, you might as well, if you're gonna take the time to do your makeup, enhance the shape of your face as well. Perfect, yeah. And then a little up here? And then a little up there, yep. And then I always like to say, Holly, what's left on your brush, 
like that little bit of blush that's left over, just swipe it across your eyelid. Oh, yeah. that's a nice tip. Because it, it actually um, harmonizes your eye makeup so that your eye makeup doesn't look separate from your blush. Kind it, of brings it all into a rhythm and harmony. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. I think it's that's really important. That's a tip important. I'll always remember. <laughs> I, think, I think that's going to resonate with you a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why I think so. Not just because you're an artist. But when I looked at your eye makeup, it was very pretty. But it didn't have that little bit of color that blush has. Mm -hmm. It was more smoked, which I love. But I think when you add that little bit of color in, it sort of softens everything and makes everything, like you said, bring it into harmony and comes together. So it's really very simple. You don't even have to be, and by the way, for those days when you're really taking a shortcut and then you do this, it's like put a little liner on. I always say line at the three E's. Eye line, eyebrow, eyelash. I think those are the things that widen, open, and create the pop. Those are the three E's for me. But you can get away with just doing this and not even worrying about eyeshadow if you want to. Okay, so we're gonna pop off the blush for a minute and we're gonna go to the French Vanilla. So I think what you can do in this case is use your same blush brush. Perfect. Yeah, this is also baked. of the angle mm -hmm. into the French vanilla and this is going to be what highlights your cheekbones oh, yes we love that. yes we love highlight now it doesn't have the sparkle <laughs> that we love but I think for having a low glow above your cheekbone is all you need it's and a great everyday every day little thing to pull it all together <laughs> exactly and by the way this is a great shadow base um, oh, that's a great idea. for all over your lid um, I, I would oh, um, <laughs> I would say use this on your um, or eyelid all over before you put any eyeshadows on or leave it as an all over lid color if you want to. So that's typically, I don't typically have a lot of time to do my makeup in the morning, but the one thing I always do is put an eye primer on, even if I'm not Good. putting eyeshadow Good. on. Good! Eye primer, lashes, eyebrows. That's what I would tell and you. And a little gloss. An eyeliner, <laughs> right? An yes. eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly what I want you to do. I That's love exactly. It. Do you call highlight um, chiaroscuro? Do you say, you know, chiaroscuro? Chiaroscuro, I'm probably yeah. pronouncing it yeah. correctly. Um, yes, yeah, so chiaroscuro, and people will have to correct me if I'm wrong, is the dramatic placement of light next to dark. Correct. And I love, I've always loved it in artwork. Um, and I never thought about bringing that to the face, but it's so true. Yes, yeah, so that was the one thing, although TV and film and theater makeup may not have been my real passion after doing it so many years the one thing i learned was how to shape and sculpt a face and it was shadow scudo and so highlighting your face to bring out your cheekbone is one area but you could also do it down the front of your nose so that if your nose is wider you just highlight the, the center it brings the attention here you know there's so many little underneath the brow you know there's so many little spots for it but um and you can play because this is so forgiving, the French vanilla, that you'll never notice it on your face because it's not that bold. So let's jump over to the final step. Now, I already put on a bold lip today because I wanted to match my top, <laughs> but this color is legendary. And I don't mean that it's, it's actually called legendary. <laughs> it is this gorgeous, creamy formula and it's a color that goes with everything you wear and any time of year and any time of day. So, legendary is what you're going to put on, Miss okay. Holly. Do you have any application tips for lipstick? You know, we always sculpt, if you look at our bullet of our lipstick, mm -hmm. it's always sculpted to shape the shape of your lip. I like to say first frame out the outside corners of your Cupid's bow. And, and then just come in. You know, this collection has a lot in it, but I also like using a lip pencil because I think shaping all the areas, not just cheekbones, not just eyeliner for eyes, but for your lips, putting a lip liner on is like shaping and sculpting your lips. It is so silky. Isn't it because silky? Because I was just thinking as I'm coming here, it's starting to get cold. Yes. And we're getting into that raw season where my lips are getting chapped. And this was such a nice little hug for my lips. Oh, with I adding love that. Color. that. Thank love you it. for saying that. I'm, pick, I'm picking up great tips from you. It's, <laughs> it's a hug for your lips. And I will tell you, I like this color on you. 
I do too. It's very, it's like a cafe color. Understated, but it still adds that little thing so yeah. I can step out maybe meet my friends. Yes, or, there's a hint yeah. of mauve or mauve, however mm -hmm. you want to say it. But it has like a brown base, which to me is very fitting for all times of year. So the only thing you have to think about if you're picking up the cold classics is what color foundation you are in the balance and brighten. Everything else comes, but you get a choice of the different colors on lauragellar.com. And again, it's 15% off if you put in the code HOLLY, H-O-L-L-Y. So don't forget to do that because then you get this, this gorgeous cult classic bag that Holly created for our 25th anniversary. Um, you get this free when you get the cult classic collection. So it's not only, oh my God, a great discount, but then you get this on top of it. So it's a win-win in my opinion just my humble opinion. Um, so I am I have to tell you, I am I'm gonna treasure this. Oh. <laughs> I am gonna treasure this. So I would like to just go back and look at you for your final look. I sure. think you look absolutely oh, you. gorgeous. Well, with your guidance, I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, you already had your eyes done. You did it yourself when you came here, but your skin looks Perfect. Oh, thank you. Well, with the help of the products that you're getting in this kit, so I'm very grateful for that. And oh, it's so it's easy. It's something I, even I could do. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> my <laughs> point. I think it's sort of like when we say goof proof, we mean it. Um, you know, I like to say we do the heavy lifting, we do the labor intensive part. Um, mm -hmm. And then in the end, you get the benefits. So, I don't, I want to thank everybody from Holly's followers to my followers who got to tune in with us today and say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so proud of both of these. Thank you. So don't forget the daily routine or the cult classics collection. And don't forget to put in the code Holly for your discount. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Laura. Thanks, Thanks for Holly. watching. <laughs> thank Goodbye. you for being thank here. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.